Hi, you got a Salesforce error message, um, a long one. It's called malformed query implementation restriction. Content document link requires a filter by single ID. Uh, and it goes on, the error message, uh, single ID on content document ID or linked entity ID using the equals operator or multiple IDs using the in operator. Okay, so this is a long error message, but basically what it means is that you tried to query the object content document link, and you didn't restrict it in any way, which for other objects is totally fine. If you are querying uh, accounts or opportunities or whatever object, this totally works, it's not a problem. However, here Salesforce requires uh, some restriction. So I'd like to show you uh, in this video, and soon we'll jump over to the system, I'd like to show you how to query uh, this object um, fully, uh, so you really get all records of that object. So uh, let's jump over into the system. Uh, in the meantime, if you would like to get more tips and tricks on how to overcome Salesforce limitations, please subscribe to this channel and uh, like uh, this video. And uh, let's hop over now into the system. So I'm here in my trailhead, trailhead playground. And as you can see, I have two accounts open. The first one is uh, this one, and it has three test files, a Word one, a PDF one, and an Excel one file stored under this account. And a similar situation here under the, the second test account, I have a PDF two, a Word two, and a Excel two uh, file stored here. So overall six files under those two accounts. So what I would like to do now is to have a list of all those files and uh, where they're linked to. Um, so um, to query this, to query this link between, again, this file, those files and the objects uh, where they're linked to, I need a tool that uh, is called the Salesforce Inspector. And if you haven't um, installed it yet, you have to get it. It's an amazing tool to do queries uh, outside of this uh, user interface. Um, so um, I will uh, try to, to get this link now. So basically it's called, this is the, the SQL query, select ID from content document link. So this is really the link between um, the, 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 the file itself and uh, the object where they're linked to. So obviously, if I click here export, I get this error message that you get as well. And you can't really get a proper list of all those links. And uh, but nevertheless, this is <laughs> something that we really would like to get. So let's find now a way around it, okay? So the error message already gives us a good hint on how to query this in a way so that it is really allowed to be executed. So what it says is that uh, this uh, object, if we query this one, we need to uh, restrict the query so that either the ID of the content document, which is the ID of the file itself, or the ID of the linked entity, the link to the object to where the file is really attached to. Um, either the file or the object needs to be limited with the in operator. Okay, so Yes, I've already uh, Googled it uh, and Salesforce um, um, brings some examples on how to, to do this. So this is basically the form uh, of this SQL query 
basically it's simply the select statement this is what we already have and here in the where uh, where uh, condition we need to add here this in operator and then add whatever value we would like to um, to, to, to add uh, in brackets good so first of all let's query all those files this is allowed <laughs> here we are not limited so this is really the, the the ids of all files of all content documents we see that this is true because uh, we can for example add here a title to it and also the file extension And then we really see that those are those uh, example files that we use and also the extensions are displayed okay cool so um, let's copy this now into Excel or into Google Sheet and bring it into the proper form so I click here copy I go here to the Google Doc and I simply paste this here. Uh, obviously, this is, um, we don't need it. We really need just the IDs. And um, okay, so let's um, really try to get here uh, those uh, signs and the comma uh, character as well into uh, this table. So for that reason, so, I like to really do this step by step um, uh, so I don't make any mistakes and uh, so the first thing we need before uh, the ID um, the ID field is the quote sign so let's add here a quote sign we'll do this for all IDs and after the ID we do the same thing again we have the quote sign and after it there is the comma separator uh, also for all but for the last one the last one doesn't need another uh, quote and what we'll do is we will append this uh, it's called concatenate so basically we just need to concatenate it here and we'll do this for all of them so that's good and now we need to copy paste this into our SQL query link because we are querying the link object and now um, in the same way like this is um, uh, like this is uh, shown here we will simply add here where content document ID in and now we'll do this manually the brackets and the content for the brackets is from the copy paste from the Google sheet and this is how it should look like hit here export then as you can see without any limitation I could query all those um, all those links um, so this is the idea of the link and now I'm really free to to add here things so content document um, title for example and uh, so this is the title of the document and content document extension and now let's go uh, to the other side of the link to the to the object that is linked to and this is called linked entity so the linked entity is the the record where the file is really attached to and if I click here uh, name then I should see the name of this record so let's hit export 
um, and to make it a bit nicer we can sort it by sort the order by the name of the record so it's a bit better organized so what you see here is that really this uh, those are the files they're linked to our account uh, the first account and the second account those are those accounts that are displayed here and you see my name here because um, files are not only linked to uh, the actual record but also to the owner of uh, whoever has uh, uploaded it so uh, in order to demonstrate that this really works let's do uh, uh, very quickly a, uh, a demonstration on uh, deleting all files that are linked for example to this account those would be the files that end with number uh, two and uh, because this is often the need when you're querying for this um, content document link object because you need to uh, to delete um, files of certain um, of certain um, uh, records so in this case let's simply delete all those files that are linked to Dickinson um, for that reason I need to copy this uh, result here again into a Google Sheet and to filter there and the reason is because um, for this object um, for this uh, link object we can't really filter for anything else but the IDs I can't really say okay let's um, let's give me uh, all uh, linked uh, entity names that are called Dickinson I'll just quickly show you uh, that it does not work um, so if I enter here and this should be like the name then I again uh, get uh, this error message or a very similar one that I can only filter on ID fields so I really need to do this the old-fashioned way and to simply copy it and go to my Google Sheet and uh, paste this here and I um, always use a filter in those situations and simply uh, filter for Dickinson okay and now I have um, the content document ID of those uh, files that are linked to Dickinson I copy it and I go back to my tool and in this case I now use the data import tool and um, here I can do really data manipulation and I will use the delete um, operation on the object content document and I paste this here so you should see here the list of your uh, IDs if you uh, do this exercise as well and here I simply add yeah this is the ID field and I can execute it good you see here the status is succeeded and as a result um, um, as a result if I go here to this um, to this account and I will do a refresh then those files should not be here anymore because they are deleted and I'm doing now the refresh and yes you can really see that there are no files at Dickinson anymore and obviously here those files should still exist uh, and be untouched from that operation great okay so this is uh, really how to use 
uh, this object content document link in Sockle queries without any limitation. Please, if you found any value in this video, then please um, like this video and subscribe also to my YouTube channel of SF Happio, um, and you will receive more tips and tricks and videos on how to overcome um, limitations of Salesforce, error situations of Salesforce, and simply, uh, yes, get more videos of that. So, have a great day. Thank you.